Mr. Silton was patched up, but still pretty angry. He referred to the man as a word that wasn't in my dictionary file. It should have been between canny and cup. I reminded Mr. Silton about going to find the others now we had the van. But he said there was something even more important we had to do first. Mr. Silton explained that it was a good idea that Mr. Logan be released from prison early, and that this wouldn't involve a parole board, but it might involve dynamite. Straight away I was apprehensive. I thought only bad people went to prison, I knew Mr. Logan was the guitarist in Mr. Silton's band, but why would we help a bad person? In the end, I think it's only Mrs. Silton's smile that convinced me to help. Mrs. Silton promised to have a present for us when we got back. She said she'd been saving her money from her decorating job. I didn't know what I would need money for, but then realized, if nothing else, new games consoles must be out. Be careful, said Mrs. Silton with a big smile. Don't rob any post offices, and don't get shot. In the dead of night, it was surprisingly easy to get close to the prison building. Mr. Silton said it was like the Death Star and had a weakness we could exploit. Although I seem to remember the robot getting shot when they did that in the film. But there was no time to worry as Mr. Silton pressed a walkie-talkie into my hand and said, Good luck. 